Back out again trying to find some gold in New York State. Central New York. I came in hopes of working a crack down there that I worked before. I got some pretty decent gold. The wife was here. She got some gold a little bit down below that. Well, the water's just a little too cold today and too deep to be reaching my arms down in there too much. So I decided to come up here and work. I'll show you. It's all bedrock on this side. All the way up through there. And all the way down through there on that side, it's bedrock. And it kind of comes over that way. And this is all material that dumps out after the flooding. Down here, it's all pretty much light stone shales, sandstone. We're not really looking for those lighter concentrated areas. We want to find the heavier areas. And I'll show you what I mean right up here. And down here, you, once in a while, you get a, a lighter colored rock, different colored, but that's all sandstone. When, when in New York, it is good to look for harder, darker colored stones like this one here. But down in here, is the colored stones are all sandstone. And that sandstone does not come from Canada. It comes from further up in New York State. So that's all lighter stone. This one is kind of like a piece of chert. And some kind of granite there. There's some harder stones in here. Like this one here. A few here and there, right there. That's sandstone. That's a harder granity kind of stone there. So there's heavies on this side. There's a bigger one there. What I like about this spot right here is first the harder stone, which is heavier. So we know the heaviers are dropping out over here. If you look up the shoreline, it kind of goes straight. A little bit of curve, but right here is a big depression. A big bowl in the in the edge of the creek and material is being dumped in here right up here this bedrock is what I like to call a push the creek comes down straight down through here and when it's high it's up this high up on that tree there it comes down through here and it's pretty high and it hits this bedrock and material gets pushed to this side I call that a push I like to focus on spots like that there's no other spots in the area to work in New York. That's always a good sign. So the push, this this bowl in the edge of the creek, it tells me that the water's pushing over here and working this out and the hard stone that's in here. So, like I said, I can't work those cracks. I'm gonna have to do that later on this summer. Good gold in there. There's gold in this creek though. Should be some right here. I'll set up the sluice some here, someplace right here. Be able to shovel right onto it, which is really nice. And the bedrock's right here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's try my glasses on there. Oh yeah, I can see a little better, huh? So I'll dig into this area. Throw it on the sluice. See if we get any gold. It's gonna be 41 today. Beautiful day. Oh, we're already on some clay. That's nice. Box is flowing not too bad. It could be a little, a little stronger, but I'll just have to help those stones get down through there occasionally. That's okay. On the clay. Well, I stop for a minute, take a union break, get a drink, write my name in the snow, you know. Figure I'd talk about the golden sand hand dredge. For, the, for those of you who are maybe thinking about getting a hand dredge or already have one, having a little trouble with it. First thing I'd like to say is when you get this, everything fits in a bucket. It's really nice. This black hose it comes with, it's kind of ribbed and corrugated. I haven't done it yet, but my advice is to replace that with a hose that isn't corrugated so that the material isn't getting stuck in there. So you don't have to work to rinse that out. But I haven't done that yet. And all kinds of fittings in here. Bigger one for sucking off the bottom. There's another one. 
even comes with a screen to just suck up through sand and stuff. One of the first tips is to silicone around the bottom of the lid of the bucket here. This top lid fits on there and it screws on the black hose or whatever hose you use. It goes on this end and it hooks onto here. You use the handle up and down, sucks material through the end, pushes out the bucket. When you pull on the handle, it sucks material in. When you push on the handle, it blows it out into the bucket. So the first thing is, silicone around the edge so when you dump your material out, it's not getting stuck in that little void in between the lid and the bucket. Next thing is, these seals I've had problems with, and they come with extra seals held on by four screws on, e on each valve. These are one-way valves. This one sucks in this way. As it sucks in, this one closes. So the material won't go out of the bucket, out into the bucket yet until you force the handle back down. The problem I was having is, as I was drawing the handle up and the material in, it would pull the seals into the valve and create a leak. So I wasn't getting enough suction. So what I did, first I tried changing the seals and it worked for a minute or two and then it did it again. So I just stuffed the crack of these valves with silicone and it works fine now. Next thing is, you might have trouble creating suction with your hand dredge. Your golden sand hand dredge is the name of it is. So what you would want to do, pull this end cap off, it will come off. It's really tight to get off, but you can do it. If not, get some help. Pull it out. And on the end is this leather. So what you do, just flare this leather out. Flare it out. See how it's flared out compared to the bottom one? There, see that? Flare it out. And get it so it'll fit back into the main body of the dredge. Get this wet. Get this leather wet. Flare it out and then stuff it back in to the main body of the dredge. Excuse the video here, I'm trying to do this one handed. So now it'll fit in there tight and it will cause suction and you'll be able to pull material in. A lot of people have trouble with that. And I used to have trouble with it too until I figured it out. Next thing is when you get that all done. You lay it in the water, lay the hand dredge in the water so the whole thing can fill with water and pull the handle out a few times and work it back and forth. Get that all primed and full of water. Then you're ready to go. Just a couple tips there on the hand dredge. There's many, many different styles. They're easy to make homemade. I just bought this one because I liked the the one-way valves and the action of it, you just pump up and down, up and down, just keep working. And you can fit different ends on here. You can get smaller and smaller. It comes with these, but you can go smaller and smaller all, for whatever you need. And one other tip. When you're, when you're using a hand dredge, this golden sand one in particular, because I'm used to it, if you're trying to pull on the handle, if you're trying to pull that handle out and it just ain't going, ain't going, don't try to force it because that's when things break. Pull the end out and look in the end of it. These have a nail. You can see right there, it passes all the way through. That's to prevent bigger rocks from going in there and clogging stuff up. So just bring a little screwdriver or something with you. Get the stone out of there that's stuck in there. Get that stone out and don't try to pull it through there because it's not going to go. Okay, I might use that today. Depends on if we get down to the bedrock, my hole is right there. Got a little pretty deep, been working in the clay. Yeah. So I'd give that a little bit of advice, a few tips while I'm taking a break. Okay, sun's out, getting nice, warming right up. A beautiful day. I've been running for a little while. I don't see any gold in there. Don't usually see any gold in a sluice in New York State, but I am seeing black sand. I don't know if you can see that glitter in there, but that glitter 
little shine on there, uh, on the bigger piece of the black sand. So that tells me that I'm in the course of black sand. That's good. Still trying to work on that clay. I'm not sure the clay is all the way down at the bottom. I think it might be up a little bit. I'm thinking the bedrock is right there. So if that bedrock extends up, it steps up over there. But if that extends flat, and even if it steps up, to me it seems like the creek coming down through there is going to fill every layer of material. It might dig it out if there's a bigger rock or something, an obstruction of some kind or a tree or something. But it seems like that's just going to fill right in. So the, the clay might not be all the way down on the be bottom bedrock here. It might be up higher. I could be wrong, but just a theory. I did take a couple of test pans. I took one out of there and one out of there, one out of there. Every single one was loaded with black sand. Like, loaded. A lot of black sand. No gold. That's a good sign. So, I'm going to start some coffee here in a minute. Maybe break the lunch. So I got into these three big stones. And they're, all three of them are kind of laying that way, facing that way. The creek goes that way, but they're facing that way. And a lot of these stones on this little bar here are facing that way. So I think, sorry if I spun too fast on you, the creek is that wide coming down through there. And when it gets to this bedrock push is what I call it, it stays that wide, but it, the current pushes this way, that wide, and the slack wire comes down through here. So that current is making this inside bend right here. And the current's coming right through there and laying this stuff in here. Kind of getting blocked by those tree roots and dumping the stuff here. Eroding stuff out of the bank. This is all glacial till all the way around here. Except for the bedrock, of course. I won't tell you where I am because I like this creek too much to be telling everybody. Maybe later on I will. But yeah. Gonna take a lunch break, coffee. Getting some black sand. Actually, maybe I'll do about, I don't know, 20 more shovels in there. And take lunch, let it run out for a while. Do a clean up. All right. Good time. So I had lunch, clean up the sluice. She's laying over there all stripped, about naked, freezing. And look at the amount of black sand in there. A lot, just a lot. Oh, we got one little speck of gold right there. See it, I'm tiny. I was expecting more out of there. Dug a pretty pretty good sized hole. It's not huge, but a good sized one. There's three rocks, three bigger rocks here. I'll walk over there and show you. The ones I showed you before, there's one there, one there, one there. I think I'm gonna tear those out of there. Just dig down behind this one in there. There's it's all clay under there. I'll get that out of there, run it through the sluice. I'm going to have to turn my sluice a little bit this way though so the tailings are kicking out over here and not back into the hole where I'm digging. After I get that little area cleaned out, I'm going to go back up there on the bank where all that black sand was. I'm just going to dig down in there, maybe right where the stone line is, get down in there a little ways, throw it through the sluice, take a test pan here and there, see if I see any color. That's the plan, man. Well, I ran for a while. I got that rock out of there. It's bigger than what I thought it was. Got it out of there and I worked everything out from down under it. A lot of clay in there. And ran that through the sluice. I didn't bother doing a clean up. I got all the clay out of there that I could. I'm waiting for it to clean up, see if I can see down in there, see if I can see any. And then I came over here and poked around. Took a few test pans, lots of black sand, I didn't see any gold. Black sand's a good sign though, because it's heavy, you know. But, 
I'm about done. My back's yelling at me. We'll let it run for a while, clean out, do a clean up, and see what we got. All right. Pulled the sluice out of the water. I don't see any visible gold. Usually won't. This is too deep to have visible gold. Usually it'll be down the bottom there, but I do see a piece of lead, a little lead shot. And it's loaded with black sand under that blonde sand. I don't know if you can see it, but it's all black. See how, see the black sand all the way through there. See it in there? Little garnet right there. Might have some gold in this one. We'll see. Just wanted to give you a little tip on this vortex mat and cleaning it out. Sometimes that stuff gets stuck in there pretty good. My buddy Jeff taught me to slap it. Just slap the water up against it. The stuff comes right out of there. Works like a charm. All right. Got two little little tiny flakes in that little probably number seven shot lead BB. And that's just in the top mat. I thought there'd be more, but that's good. That, that's fine. Alright, I'll clean up the bottom and see what we got. Beautiful day. About time for me to pack up, get ready to go home. Clean out the bottom. Got one little tiny speck right there. And all that black sand. A lot of black sand. Bunch of garnets in there. So I'll suck that piece up. And in the top mat I did find another piece, so that was three little flakes. And then that one. Good day, I had fun. Wasn't the greatest gold, but that doesn't matter. Be back here again sometime. Go down and work that crack when the water's warmer. That crack works up into a bigger, a bigger hole. Hopefully, it turns into some kind of depression that'll load up with material. We'll find out later on in the year. Beautiful New York State. Thanks for watching. See you next time.